Hi everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Welcome to the uh, HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier in the middle of the sunny Solent. And of course this is the F-35 uh, fighter um, that's available in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get this thing taking on, taking uh, off um, vertically um, from uh, from well any any surface in this case this nice carrier the this is the LVFR carrier um, pack that you can buy obviously the F35 you can you can buy as well and this is on the Xbox Series S using a controller now the first thing I have to say is that if you want to take off um, vertically and land vertically using the F35 you're gonna have to plug in a mouse at least to your Xbox um, in order to be able to um, select the uh, vertical takeoff and landing option uh, at the moment anyway at the time of recording this video because if you try and select it um, using um, the uh, controller um, cursor which is doing it like this and you click on the VTOL option which is that button there the game crashes well it freezes for a bit and nothing happens now you also need really a keyboard as well plugged in and the reason why you need a keyboard plugged in is because at the moment anyway there's no key binding to move your aircraft forwards or backwards when it's in hover mode or auto hover mode um, on the, uh, the controller there's only an option on keyboard now that may well change but at the moment you need that so you can kind of get by um, but I'll show you how to in a minute but really if you want the best out of the F-35 you're gonna have to plug in a keyboard and mouse to your Xbox controller um, now the thing to remember as well is you in order to use the, the uh, VTOL version of the F-35 you need to go into your hangar and you need to choose the F-35B variant and the thing to remember about the F-35 is or the B anyway it has three flight modes it's got normal flight when it behaves like a normal, normal aircraft and then we have slow flight where the um, basically the, the, the fan opens up that blows downwards and then the engine at the back um, points downwards as well so you can kind of fly very very slowly and then it has auto hover mode and it's a bit like a helicopter really um, now I'm no expert at this so this video is really just to just to help you know the basics so what you need to know is that in the cockpit um, this is where I'm now using my mouse in order to get into um, the kind of the hover mode and the, the um, short takeoff and landing you need to click this button here and when we click that you'll see this animation takes place so you see it at the back the jet uh, outlet um, points down we've got the I guess that's an air brake has popped up and the uh, fan inlet I think has uh, opened up there so we're kind of we're kind of ready to take off now you need to make sure that your uh, weight if we go up and check that is less than 40,000 um, pounds if it's over 40,000 pounds your maximum um, takeoff weight you won't be able to take off vertically uh, or land vertically so we I've made sure that, that that's down there now that's all done so we can close that and then in order to get into hover mode all we need to do is see on the the uh, dashboard here on the cockpit it says hover there just click that and the engine spools up and we're in kind of auto hover mode now so we're ready to go now in order to go up all we need to do is use our left stick to go up or down now it depends on whether you've got your controls reversed or not. So I pulled down on my stick and there we go. And take her up nice and gently. And for me, I push down on my left stick. Push up on my left stick, sorry. And I can go down. Yours might be reversed. As easy as that. I'll just move with the camera around. Now while we're hovering, using the joystick, so using the left stick, if I, if I push left, we can strafe left. If I push right straight right and if I use my rudders so my triggers I can turn right turn clockwise turn anti-clockwise but what I can't do is move backwards and forwards now what you could do if you wanted to is you could get yourself into position where you wanted to be and then kind of, kind of use strafing you know to move up towards the front of the carrier or to reposition um, however if you want to be able to tip the nose forward to kind of move forward this is where the keyboard comes in so on the keyboard you have to press control and five at the same time and you move forward and control and four to kind of cancel that out 
and then start moving backwards. Now you can rebind that in the settings, but it's actually, what we're rebinding is actually um, it's in the secondary error, secondary controls, I think, the trims, and it's the uh, what we're rebinding are the air. I think it's the Aerolon trims, and there's no actual function for Aerolon trims as far as I can see on the controller, so we just can't put it on the controller at the moment. So what we'll do is we go up a little bit higher. Now what we need to do now is we need to transition to, uh, well, turn auto hover off and we'll transition to um, kind of a slow flight. So we go back to our um, dashboard or our cockpit and we just click on hover. And that will disable hover. The aircraft will start moving forward. We just need to nose up. Let's uh, put our gear away. We'll start to speed up. When we get up to sort of 200 knots, we go back to our dash, our uh, cockpit, and we click on the STV all button, and then all those flaps are closed up, and the airplane will really start to take off now. You know, and then now we become a supersonic fighter. So the really tricky thing I found is when you transition into land, to land in the you know vertical or short landing, is it's very difficult to slow down. <laughs> Um, it does have flaps and we do have um, uh, there are spoilers as well but I haven't got around to figuring out how to use those so what we're going to try and do, I want to try and land at this little airport here at Leon Solon so first thing we'll do, we're just going to slow down I'll put my flaps out so I'm going to put my landing gear down as well to really slow down I'm not very good at landing at the best of times now when we get down to sort of 200 knots, that's when we can engage our, um, our slow speed mode. So we're kind of getting there now. So we can go back to our cockpit, click on hook STVOL. As you can see, the jet uh, outlet is now pointing downwards. We can, we can actually, you can actually speed up a little bit. Now you can rev up the engine to move a little bit faster. I've probably done that a little bit too early, haven't I? And this is the thing. I think it's going to take a lot of um, practicing with, you know, approach speed and slowing down and knowing when to transition from normal flight to slow flight and then um, then trust it. So what we're going to do now is we don't bother going for the, we're, we're, we're going to put it down in a field. So what we'll do, what we can do now is we can now, um, if we go back to our cockpit, we can now click on hover with our mouse. Oh, let's move that mouse out of the way. We've gone into hover mode. And now I can just push up on my left stick, it might be down for you. And we are now hovering. We can see our altitude is coming down. It's all fully automatic. It's going through about 800 feet. Just about to see, I think there's the carrier in the distance. I was probably a little bit too high when I, again too high when I was doing this. So it's all about learning that those transitions. And I've done a couple of carrier approaches, but it's really, it's really tricky sort of getting used to using the keyboard. So as we here we go, 400 feet. No combine harvesters underneath us. Gets, you can really see the fan there, can't you? Up to 100 feet, start to slow down. There we go. We're down on the ground. Brakes up, well, brakes on. Come out of hover mode. Oh, sorry, we've automatically come out of hover mode. We could come out there. Ooh. Turn off the engine. 
Ooh, right, there we go. There we go, stop, 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 stop. So what, what happened there was, I kind of, I was throttled up. <laughs> and the, the plane was settled on the ground automatically, but because I was buggering around with things, it turned things off. So there we've got her down. So what we'll do, I'll tell you what, let's just, let's just take her off again. Let's do a, a flyover of the, the carrier. So first things first, we just want to go to our cockpit, use our mouse to select hook STOBL. That sorts itself out. Go to our dashboard, click hover. Put it, for me, I'm pulling down. go back to our dashboard click on hover to come out of hover mode let's put our gear up put our flaps up go back to our dashboard come out of uh, STVO ML mode she really takes off now there's the carrier let's go to full afterburner shall we Wow, look at that. How fantastic does that look? How fantastic does that look? So there we go. Hopefully that's enough to uh, get you into trouble with the F-35. Remember, it's the F-35B variant, and you can go vertical on the Xbox or Xbox, uh, Xbox uh, Series S or Series X, but you do need to plug in a mouse and a keyboard uh, to get the get the most of out of it if you want to be able to use basically it's be able to to be able to select you know the hook stovl uh, options okay so hopefully that's been useful uh, if it has it like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon